In problem number 39, I want to find the first derivative of y, or dy dx, for y equals 5x plus 1 to the 2 thirds power. Now, I could go through the normal process of using the chain rule here, but because we're using implicit differentiation in this section, I want to try this a slightly different way, and both ways are adequate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply uh, uh, not multiply both sides, but raise both sides to the third power. So I could rewrite this as the following. I could say that y cubed, if I cubed both sides, is equal to 5x plus 1 quantity squared, because 2 thirds cubed is squared. Now I could take this derivative implicitly. If I do, uh, taking the derivative of y cubed is 3y squared times dy dx. And over here, the derivative is, this is just a chain rule problem. It's 2 times 5x plus 1 to the first times the derivative of what's inside, which is 5. Now I can just solve for the dy dx, and I get that dy over dx is equal to uh, let's see, I've got 5 times 2, which is 10, uh, times 5x plus 1, divided by, and I divide both sides by 3y squared. Okay, and here is my answer. Now, I have y's in the answer, and that's absolutely fine when I take a derivative implicitly. But if I don't really like to have y's in the answer, I can go back and remind myself that y is 5x plus 1 to the 2 thirds. Take that y, plug it in for y right here, and I'd get an answer that only contains x's. It's up to you. Both ways are fine. So here is one form of dy dx where some y's are involved. I could have another form of dy dx where it's just x is involved in the